The state of aged care is worse than we thought, according to dire new figures released today. Some homes are nearly broke, with nursing and food standards dropping again, according to an audit which calls for an urgent intervention. Including the Aged Care Royal Commission shocked the nation. Now a new audit of nursing homes delivers another confronting message. I don't shy away from the fact that aged care is in crisis. Um, I'm doing everything I can to fix that. The audit finding 66% of residential facilities are running at a loss, but 80% of in-home services are making a profit, with residents receiving just three hours personal care and only $12.40 on food each day well below tough new standards to be enforced later this year. The Labor Party needs to be really careful about implementing policies that will actually cause our facilities to close. The minister says the audit precedes the government's 10% funding boost but concedes with thousands more opting for in-home care, change is needed. To lift the standard of aged care, we need to have a look at how structurally we are funding it. We've got to start looking at radical things that maybe in the past have been off the table. That means not just government funding, $27 billion this year, jumping to $35 billion in two years. But also the amount we're able to ask uh, our residents to contribute if they have significant means and significant assets. Which suggests some aged care residents will inevitably pay more, and so will the government. The promised pay rise for aged care workers, already 15%, could go to 25%. You would have heard the Prime Minister say before, aged care workers don't just deserve our thanks, they deserve a pay rise. Mark Riley, 7 News.